Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Monday, the first day of July. It's Canada Day today. Why? It's American Zoo Day today. Devotion to Duty Day. Early Bird Day. International Chicken Wing Day. I could go for a chicken wing today, too. International Joke Day. I would let Heidi tell a joke, but if I did, we would be canceled. (laughs) So we're not going to do that. Uh, Financial Freedom Day, which would be nice. Postal Worker Day. Uh, U.S. Postage Stamp Day. Zip Code Day. A lot of stuff going on with postal stuff today. A lot of stuff. And uh, there's a bunch of national days today outside of Canada Day. There's some other countries that celebrate their national day as well. I've got the whole list in the show notes. Uh, And a big thank you to List of National Days, by the way. It is also a Movie Star Monday, and I'm so excited to visit with Barry Corbin. Barry is in several movies and TV shows that I absolutely love, and he seems like just the coolest dude And I'm so excited to visit with him. He's doing a fun event where he's going around the country and speaking. It's called An Evening with Barry Corbin. I want to get him here. I would love to. I'd I'd love to hang out with the guy. He seems like a lot of fun. We'll be chatting with Barry Corbin coming up. Charlie has Parkinson's. Recently, Charlie started wearing a bracelet from Vitatech Healing. I'm an avid golfer, and I was going to give it up this year. I just deteriorated that much. Now I'm back to golfing, enjoying it, having a good time. I just can't stress enough how good it is. Click on radiosavings.com to hear more of Charlie's story and find out how Vitatech Healing is helping others with ADHD, fibromyalgia, autism, and more. Plus, find radio-only savings by clicking the link at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Who knew? Art is good for you, Heidi. In a response to a growing body of evidence that art, in whichever form, can radically improve both your mental health and your physical health. Well, now more healthcare practitioners are uh, (laughs) subscribing. No, they're prescribing art engagement as part of treatment for a wide variety of conditions like obesity, heart disease, chronic pain, dementia, Parkinson's, loneliness, depression... New research shows that art experiences, whether you are the creator or the beholder, you can actually rewire your brain and trigger the release of neurochemicals, hormones, and endorphins just by looking at art. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. I I remember back in the day when I had time to do art, I would like paint things, and I always enjoyed doing that. We've got a spot on our wall where we're going to make a painting, and it's ridiculously big, and I keep asking Heidi, hey, can we do that painting? <laughs> and she's making me wait until every other project in our house is done. <laughs> because she's like, no, no, we got we to get this done first. I'm like, but but I could do that today. No, 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 we got to get this done first. <laughs> See what you're doing, Heidi? You're, you're messing with my health. I know. Uh-huh. I apologize. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. It's rad. It's bad. It's 80s. The coolest rock vacation of the summer. Retro Mania Live. August 21st through 25th, the Mansion Theater. Starring Vince Neal, Bobby Brown, Casey and the Sunshine Band, Night Ranger, Tom Kiefer, Tiffany, Lou Graham, Pauly Shore, celebrity autograph signing, costume parties, and more. Single day tickets on sale now at RetromaniaLive.com. Produced by Branson Star Entertainment. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Hi, did you know that your nose is always visible to you, but your mind ignores it through a process called unconscious selective attention? I did. And then as soon as you hear that fact, you start noticing your nose again. I'm seeing my nose. Yeah. <laughs> Has this thing always know, been here? Isn't it weird? It is very weird. So now pay attention to your nose today, folks. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe your nose knows. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. I have to keep one eye on Heidi as I'm reading the story to find out if she's excited or angry. A sequel to Mel Brooks' 1987 comedy Spaceballs is in development. As long as Rick Moranis and, and all, I mean, you, you can't make it without the the originals. And well, unfortunately, John Candy obviously won't be. Josh Gad is set to star, and he'll produce alongside Mel Brooks. So he'll be producing with him. Plot details are kept under wraps right now. The original film starred Bill Pullman, John Candy, yeah, and Rick Bill Moranis. Bill Pullman would have to be a in A parody it. of both Star Wars franchise and other popular sci-fi, Star Trek and Alien. And Will Smith has an award show gig lined up. But <laughs> it's not the Oscars. <laughs> He's going to perform a new song during the 2024 BET Awards. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm looking to see if there's a date on here. Maybe this has already happened. Da, 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 da. Does not have a date. 
Oh, it says it will air live on Sunday. So I bet it was it was probably over the weekend. So we missed Well, it. he must have been able to keep his hands to himself I, at this one. Otherwise, we would have heard more Yeah, I'm sure we would have heard something. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by radiosavings.com. Charlie has Parkinson's. He started wearing a bracelet from Vitatech Healing, and he's noticed a difference, even while sleeping. Once I got in bed, I couldn't roll over. I couldn't move. I was just whatever position I was in, just a chore to get out of bed. And now everything is so much better. Click on radiosavings.com to hear more of Charlie's story and find out how Vitatech Healing is helping others with ADHD, fibromyalgia, autism, and more. Plus, find radio-only savings by clicking the link at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. I'm not saying this is what your kid wants to do in the summer, but you never know. Chick-fil-A restaurant in Hammond, Louisiana is offering their very own spin on summer camp, where kids between the ages of 5 and 12 can learn how the chicken sandwich business is. And they get they get to pay $35 to be a part of this. This is kind of cool, actually. Uh, before you get all concerned about how uh, a nine-year-old would be working a deep fryer, don't worry, the kids are not doing any of the cooking. This Chick-fil-A owner says that their three-hour program involves teaching children customer service skills. Employees, employees will act as like a camp counselor, giving kitchen tours, showing the kids how to bag and order. And of course, they'll have a chance to meet the Chick-fil-A cow. Interest in the program was so high that the first three sessions of the Service Industry Fantasy Camp in July were then expanded to six additional sessions. Oh, how fun This is, is that? not the first program of its kind, either. A Chick-fil-A in Houston started doing a program like this six years ago, and they still run theirs every single year. Huh. I've got a link to that story. I think that's kind of cool. Um, when you were a kid, did you ever go to summer camp? Did you do anything like that? No. You never went to any kind of summer camp? Nothing? Nope. I, as a kid... I didn't go to summer camp, but we would go camping a lot in the summer. But we sure lived, our home was like not even a block from a lake. So yeah. we really didn't need to go every, anywhere. My brother and I day, spent all the time at the lake. So. Every day was camping for Heidi. So, <laughs> it was. Yeah. Um, I think this sounds like a lot of fun, though. I'm thinking we should start a radio camp. <laughs> <laughs> I got all kinds of heavy lifting that needs to be done. These young kids with their strong backs. If you'd like to sign up for my radio camp. What's that? A station attorney's on the line? Okay, never mind. I guess we're going to cancel that. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis? By allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit GenesisGoldIRA.com. Thank you for listening to The John and Heidi Show. I'm excited to visit right now with Barry Corbin. He's been in a whole bunch of movies over the last 40 years and TV shows as well. Movies like uh, Urban Cowboy, Lonesome Dove, Northern Exposure Television Program. And he's not done yet. He's also on shows now like The Ranch and Yellowstone and Tulsa Kings and the latest Scorsese film, Killers of the Flower Moon. Barry, you have been a part of so many amazing projects. I, I think when you look at your career, you have to just go, wow, that, that's something to be very proud of. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm proud of it, but I'm not done yet. Somebody asked me when I was going to retire, I said, when I get it right, which means never. <laughs> well, you're certainly doing something right. And something you're doing now that I think is really a neat idea, an evening with Barry Corbin, and you're going out and doing events where people get to see some photos, behind-the-scene things, and, and you get to tell some stories. That's got to be a fun thing to be on the on the stage in front of an audience and being able to just share with them all the fun things you've had a chance to do. Oh, no, it's great fun. Me, I, uh, you know, I, I love to, I, I love to, that's one thing I miss about the theater is that I don't have direct contact with the audience usually, and in this, in this deal I have direct contact with people. And you've been an actor for a long time, a part of some movies and TV shows that everybody knows and loves, but there's nothing quite like being on a stage if you're doing a play, if you're doing something like this, an evening with Barry Corbin, you have a chance to see the audience reaction instantly, and that there's something special about that, isn't there? There certainly is. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun because 
you know, the audience is the other character. You're playing the character. Uh, well, actually, on in, in my show, I'm just playing me. But uh, it's uh, uh, it, it, it's fun to get audience uh, audience reaction because that tells me what to do next. I don't have a script for the show. I just I just go out and tell stories. So nice. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Well, you were talking about playing characters. Now, you've had a chance to play a bunch of different characters in your career. When you look back, is there any one character that you would say was the most fun to play? Is it is it better to be like a good guy or a bad guy, or does it not much matter? Uh, it, it really doesn't much matter. I, I, I love being both, you know. it's uh, I like to mix it up. I like to have to do comedy and a little comedy, a little drama, a little of this and that. Uh, I guess the the most fun I've had uh, because it was lasted longest, and I <clears throat> I was able to explore the character a little little more deeply was that uh, television show Northern Exposure. And there was quite a following for that show. People really really loved the show, and they loved your character in the show. Yeah, and it's back on uh, on some cable deal now, I think so. People get a chance to watch it again. They're, you know, it's coming back on. Well, I'm, I'm getting a lot of mail on that, so that's it's good. Absolutely, it still holds up pretty well. Is there any character that you played in your your career that is closest to the real life Barry Corbin, or or or, or any of them even close at all to you? Uh, probably the closest one would be the the part I played in the ranch with uh, Sam Elliott. Uh, I played the veterinarian. And uh, it, that was about as close to me as I as I can think of. Nice. Well, and and on there, people loved that character. So I think that means people would love you as well, right? Well, I hope so. <laughs> I love them. I hope they love me. Nice. And and for people who would like to see an evening with Barry Corbin, this is something that you've got some scheduled now, but you're scheduling more events like this all the time, right? You bet. Yeah, you can go to barrycorbin.com and go to the events, and uh, and you can you can look this uh, show about anywhere. I'll uh, I'll do it in the phone booth if I can get enough people <laughs> around standing outside. Well, and the thing that's nice is this would be a really fun event. So if somebody's looking for a fundraiser, looking for just a fun thing to do in a community, I think this would be a really fun way to put together a very successful event. You bet. Well, Barry, thank you so much for your time today. It was really fun to visit, and, and thank you for doing all that you do to, to bring entertainment and joy to people's lives for all these years. Well, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I will throw a link to the website to make it really easy to find. Again, it's barrycorbin.com. And I'm on there right now, and I clicked on An Evening with Barry Corbin, and uh, you can click and see the upcoming events. You can also click another button here if you'd like to see uh, if maybe you could have him in your community, barrycorbin.com. And I have a link at johnandheidyshow.com. Charlie has Parkinson's. Recently, Charlie started wearing a bracelet from Vitatech Healing. I'm an avid golfer, and I was going to give it up this year. I just deteriorated that much. Now I'm back to golfing, enjoying it, having a good time. I just can't stress enough how good it is. Click on radiosavings.com to hear more of Charlie's story and find out how Vitatech Healing is helping others with ADHD, fibromyalgia, autism, and more. Plus, find radio-only savings by clicking the link at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Coral can be found around the tops of some Alaskan mountains, like the coral that you find in oceans, water. Some of that's found on the top of mountains in Alaska. It's almost like there was a great flood at one point. Hmm. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The word idiot comes from a Greek legal term, meaning one who doesn't vote. So that is literally what that word means. Really? Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Uh, what else do we have over here? How about this one? Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There is an 84% chance that if you are 16 years old or older, you have already met the person you will marry. I have a 100% chance. <laughs> I'm, I'm married to her. She's right there. You've met her too, Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> and our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Women find men more attractive when they get attention from other women. So is that why uh, you like it when other women are always whistling at me and stuff? Yes, because it happens all the time. It's never happened ever. <laughs> all right, several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. 
It's rad. It's bad. It's 80s. The coolest rock vacation of the summer. Retro Mania Live. August 21st through 25th, the Mansion Theater. Starring Vince Neal, Bobby Brown, Casey and the Sunshine Band, Night Ranger, Tom Kiefer, Tiffany, Lou Graham, Pauly Shore, Celebrity Autograph Signing, Costume Parties, and more. Single day tickets on sale now at RetromaniaLive.com. Produced by Branson Star Entertainment. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. All right, relative to the internet, what does URL stand for? I honestly do not know I've this. I've heard this a bazillion times, but I didn't know this either. Shout it out, smart folks. Do you know what it is? URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Yeah. Okay. That's what that is. Like your website is the URL. It's that's what I was thinking. Uh, that's what I, that would be my second. <laughs> Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Charlie has Parkinson's. He started wearing a bracelet from Vitatech Healing, and he's noticed a difference even while sleeping. Once I got in bed, I couldn't roll over. I couldn't move. I was just whatever position I was in, just a chore to get out of bed. And now everything is so much better. Click on radiosavings.com to hear more of Charlie's story and find out how Vitatech Healing is helping others with ADHD, fibromyalgia, autism, and more. Plus, find radio-only savings by clicking the link at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com with Christmas way behind us. Now we're seeing stores stocked with items for upcoming holidays that ultimately led to the arrest of this guy in Florida. John Richardson was in line to check at the local uh, check out rather at the local Circle K there when he suddenly became irate. As the cashier tried to complete the transaction, he switched checkout lanes and handed his money to a different clerk. Then he picked up a chocolate Easter egg and he hurled it at the first cashier. What? He wasn't done. He jumped over the counter and continued to pummel the guy the with heck? a chocolate egg. Cops were called. Peter Cottontail was tracked down, and he was arrested with battery and booked into the county jail. It wasn't really Peter Cottontail. It was this guy, John Richardson. I'm assuming this story happened around Easter time. So. Holy cow. <laughs> and why else would they still have eggs what in the What is counter? up with that, dude? I, I have had so many stories sitting in my inbox for a while. <laughs> Clearly. So sorry I'm finally getting around to the <laughs> Easter story. But thanks for sending it to me after all. Weird News brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Who should replace Katy Perry on American Idol season 23? So season 22 just wrapped up. And here's the list of people on the internet who are talking about this. Um, I've got Megan Trainer is one of the people on the list. Uh, Fantasia is on the list. Carrie Underwood is on the list. Uh, Marin Morris is on the list. Pink, Miley Cyrus, Jennifer Hudson, Jennifer Lopez, Jordan Sparks, Bishop Briggs, uh, who else do we have on here? Alicia Keys. There might be some others as well. I scrolled through that pretty darn quickly. Here's the thing that I will say. I don't watch any of these programs, and it's nothing against the programs. When I do watch them, I really do enjoy them. So it's not that I don't like the shows, and I see them share the clips on the internet all the time, and I always enjoy those. So I wouldn't vote at all because like, it doesn't matter to me, but is there one of the people on that list that you're like, this is who it should be? No. All does right. not affect my life at all, right. all. Well, if it does affect yours, you can check out the list in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis? By allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit genesisgoldira.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. This comes from Patrick Starr, fictitious person <laughs> on SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, he says, Life is just a big bowl of fancy assorted cashews. Is that, is that how he talks? I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, Krusty Crew. <laughs> Life is just a big bowl of fancy assorted cashews. Nice. nice. Now I'm laughing and I can't do it. Yeah. Not even close. That is your quote of the day. I promise I won't do impressions. <laughs> Comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com.
This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. Can you imagine having this happen? A lady buys a vase at a thrift store for $4. Turns out it's not from Walmart. It's not from you know Kmart. It's not from... Bed Bath and Beyond. It's from an ancient Mayan ceremonial urn from a long time ago. Can Holy you even imagine? Holy cow! How much is this thing worth? The extraordinary turn of events uh, in D.C., Washington D.C., a discovery that has captivated historians and archaeologists alike. Five years ago, while browsing a clearance rack at a thrift store in Maryland, this young lady, Ms. Dozier, Anna Lee Dozier, stumbled upon a vase that she thought was kind of neat. It was neat looking, and I thought I'd take it home. Four bucks. That's how much it was. Fast forward to January of this year, when she was working in Mexico, visited a museum there, and was left astonished when she noticed some artifacts that were similar to the one that she bought. And she's like, that looks like my vase. She gets home. She snaps some photos and sends the photos and measurements to the person there. Uh, She got it for $3.99, so less than $4. Found out that this is from... 200 to 800 AD, and it's nearly 2,000 years old, uh, and it's a a priceless treasure. And I'm looking to see if there's, because Heidi asked how much it's worth. Yeah, is there a valuation? It does not say. They they said uh, the urn is going to be placed in a museum in Mexico where it will be preserved and will be appreciated as part of the country's rich cultural history. So she returned there with a formal ceremony. Handed over the artifact. Does not say if she was paid for it. She should have been. At least four bucks. At least reimburse her four <laughs> bucks. I think that's really cool. Uh, we we had something completely different but similar happen where we had some people cutting down some trees for us. And the guy pointed into our landscape and goes, you know, that's a meteor, right? I'm like, it's a meteorite? He goes, yeah, that's a meteor. You knew that, right? I'm like, I had no idea. <laughs> so we found out. He goes, that's probably worth a couple thousand dollars. It was sitting in our landscaping rocks. Yeah. And I'm like, oh. We should probably take that in the house. Now it's in the house and I still have no idea. How much it's worth. <laughs> I've got a link to this story about the urn in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.